With the new update here in college football 2025, you can now adjust the numbers of new recruits that are not a part of the NIL thing. So basically any new AI generated players, you can change their numbers. With that being said, we have adjusted Jeremiah Tran's number all the way from 16 down to number one. He is our two-way stud athlete. So we definitely want him rocking out with a good jersey number. And we changed Tyron Oak's number from 16 down to number two. With that being said, we want to give a quick little temperature check on our recruiting. Johnny Kuroma already committed to the team. We are ahead of four sussing for Tele Putu. Moha, we're in the lead on coming on a visit week seven. Tennessee is really right on our heels for that. Uh, we're ahead of four-star defensive tackle Nate. Not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Florida State trying to come back on him. Head on Malcolm Robbins. Ahead of Eric Fabroni. And going after John Rowan, four-star middle linebacker. We would lose Terrence Pierce to 92-speed middle linebacker. Haven't scouted him yet, but I'm hopeful he has at least some sort of speed. Oh, Clemson's trying to fight all the way back here in Sydney. Galette. Well, we can't really hard summon anything just yet, but when things are, I have pretty good confidence that we can get him. And then Damian Caraman, we put five points on. And then Braxton Pierce, we have a giant lead on. Deep threat, three-star wide receiver with 96 speed and 89 excel. This week, we play Coastal Carolina, who is fourth in our division, the Sun Belt East. Last year, they hung up 80 points on our heads, but they're going to be without junior running back Christian Washington. Christian was one of the guys that really did a lot of damage against us. He has a hamstring tear. Going to be out for six weeks. Definitely going to help us out on defense. This year, it's going to be Ethan Vasco. Going to be the starting quarterback for him. Again, he was able to dot us up and down the field a year ago. Another junior coming in 83 overall with great accuracy, 93 throw power, and he can move just a little bit. All right, it's time for game seven to come underway here. As you see with the dynamic attendance, more people come into the game since we are right now 5-1 and one undefeated in conference play. Trying to aim for revenge after getting beaten down a year ago, Ethan Vasco, 12 touchdowns, two interceptions, definitely having a good season so far. So far, our defense has played fairly well this year. This is definitely going to be a major test. Again, as they put up 80 points last year, and oh my gosh, Alex Peterson can't make a tackle, and he's going to go all the way up. That is Jabari Kayondo. I guess that's how you say his name. A big run so far. He had 58 yards last week, almost five yards a clip. So he has definitely proven capable uh, filling in the shoes. It's going to be a little counter. Here. Oh my gosh, we there. We sent the blitz that time around. Limited him for a loss. This is the full house I am run committing. Look, if they throw the ball out of a full house setup, then props to you. That's all I'm going to say. It is going to be a handoff up the gut, and we are swarming him in the backfield, led by Anthony Murphy and Adrian Ray. And coming in on Ty Dawson, going to be a passing situation. Here's third and eight, right over the middle where we left and vacated our zone. Locally, Alex Peterson's there, and Vasco leaving off where he did a year ago. Gonna gonna be another run situation here. So we are going to run commit yet again, and we are everywhere. My gosh, Alex Peterson laying in the wood. All right, here we go, second and 11. Gonna be a draw in this situation. Gonna go up the field. What a big play, shedding off a tackle from Trannon and automatically into the end zone. Costa Carolina getting on the board first as our run defense is just absolutely atrocious. Nathan Lecoq has been a freaking weapon for us on special teams. Everywhere you can really name it here. So let's see what he's going to rock out here. And he's not going to get anywhere. Again, trying to get Tyron Oaks to football. Again, his number did change from 16 to number two. So if you're going to wear that number, you're going to have to show out here. The ball is going to be a little bit behind him. Shuts off a tackle and only gets two. Once again, our element has really been attacking teams on the edge. Whether it's with orbit motions. Whether it's with receivers out of the backfield. Little swings like this. We got to attack team this way. This is where we've been really good. And Dallas Lee down the right sideline. What a big play. Going to break attack. We're not beginning before getting across midfield up to the 47. That is where we have specialized the most. Attacking teams on the edge. Again, going to do so here with a stretch. Great blocking to the outside. Ty Abraham going to set up his block inside outside the tight end. Mason Williams can't pick up to the safety. But that's okay. We still pick up 16. Doing all this without even throwing the football. That is what you love to see. If you can drive down the field mostly without even throwing it. You're good, but with Ty Abraham tired, we're going to focus on Tyron Oaks since he's getting press coverage. He's going to beat his cornerback, and he's going to get in the end zone. Touchdown, Tyron Oaks. Again, true freshman with elite development, really showing off so far this season. Both teams scoring within the first two minutes of this game. If It might be another offensive shootout here. Alex Peterson misses the tackle before hopefully Jalen Stokes brings him down, and he does. We got to make that play in the backfield. This team loves going to this little full house look. 
Let's see if they actually throw the ball out of it. That'd be quite smart if they did. They're not, and everybody is there. Alex Peterson and Anthony Murphy. All right, coming out and gun empty. We're going to run some cover two here. We're going to be on Underwood, and he's going to throw it over the middle right behind our head. Ty Dawson misses the tackle, but Jalen Stokes and Terrell Pace is there, and now they are running some hurry up. Let's see if they stay in empty. They are not. So let's see if Ethan Vasco is going to hand this ball off. They're going to attack us through the air. I don't know why we have a linebacker all the way on the right side of the screen, but we really don't have enough time to adjust. Oh, it's a play action. I got fooled. Going deep. And oh my gosh, thank the Lord it was an overthrow. Like if that last pass was not overthrown, we would have been down by seven. Coastal Carolina would have been chanting up their bands. Give me a jet touch pass here. Uh, we missed the angle with Jeremiah Trannon, and it's another first down. My goodness, they're just getting whatever they can get. All right, first and 10, going to run some man coverage, bringing Jalen Stokes down in the box, and he gets shrugged off like he's nothing. Look, we're going to keep blitzing over and over again until we force Coastal Carolina to throw the football. It's going to be a play, not a play action. Thank the Lord we were there because I definitely got fooled. Right, somebody's got to make a play. It's third and 12, force them to a field goal. They're going to go over the top, and there is Jalen Stokes picking him off. Read the seam route. He tried to force it to the tight end. Needed to put a little more air under it, but the transfer from USF makes a play. That is Stokes' first interception of the season, too. He has been, you know, that is Stokes' first interception of the season. He has played fairly well for us. Ty Abraham going to cut back on the power, getting six. All right, now we're going to get somebody the ball that we really haven't heard of this game. Nathan Lecoq, been very quiet. Then again, we really haven't thrown the ball that much. Going to get it on the outside. Great blocking. Can he get a block from the tight end? He does. And Nathan Lecoq may just go 90 yards. Nobody looks like he's going to hawk him down to the 10, the 5. Touchdown simply untouched. And I told you, we have been attacking teams on the edge with our speed. And it plays off to fruition right there. Let's see what Coach Carolina bounces back with here. Inside run up the gut. Train and misses again. He has struggled the past couple of games. He's thrown off very hot up over that free safety. And maybe it's just the angles he's taking or trying to get some cardio, his breath back in from playing both sides of the ball. But he just hasn't been it the past couple of games. And oh my gosh, big hole up the gut, training, giving chase, but finally is brought down after a huge game. Clifford already got 60 yards, man. We're going to stop this big red dog. All right, now it's first and 10 yet again for Coastal Carolina. Alex Peterson that away. He is our leader on our defense, shutting down Clifford that time, but he's still averaging you know, six yards a pop, and they're coming out in pistol full house yet again. Let me come out in a blitz look because, obviously, if they're coming out in full house, they are going to run the football. You know, if they decide to, you know, throw it out this look, more power to them. And there we go. Alex Peterson there yet again. Training gets cut blocked to the end of the play. All right, once again, it is third and eight. Last time we were on a third and eight, they converted by throwing the ball over Jacob Underwood's head or Jordan Underwood's head. We're going to be on the tight end here. He's probably going to dump it off to the running back on the right side. He's launching it, floating it deep to his receiver, and it is caught. You can't expect to play zone coverage for that long. Our defensive line really needs to find a way to get some sort of pressure. It doesn't matter what pressure it is. Just get home. Somebody's got to win. We are down Jeff Towns because he tore his pack last week. So that's definitely going to hurt us. And there we go. Finally, Jalen Stokes lays the lumber. After a big play, it seems like always on second down, they come out in this pistol full house look. And every time they come out, I'm going to run commit. And that, there's Jeremiah Trannon finally making a tackle. All right, now it is third and goal from the six yard line. Coastal Carolina have had great success on third downs today. It's going to be slants over the middle. We're not fast enough. He's going to throw it out of bounds. And we force Coastal Carolina to attempt a field goal. The epitome of bend but do not break defense. Still 10 points in the first quarter is a lot to give up. But a win is a win, giving up a field goal, and he misses. He misses a chip shot field goal, kind of like Blair Walsh from the Minnesota Vikings. I apologize if you're a Vikings fan, but, man, that is a tough field goal to miss. You know, if they're going to come out in a full house look, we're going to come out in our own full house. Got a lot of tight ends on the field. Ty Abraham in the backfield going to run a little counter here. Can he get some blocks? He does get a little bit of room, but not too much. Going to run another counter here. Still trying to give Ty Abraham the football. Whenever he gets over 100 yards rushing, that's when our offense can really explode, and we are losing two on that one. Going to be forced to throw the ball here on third and eight. Not the end of the world. We have a bunch of weapons to do so. I just got to find the right play. I love this sale look because Tyron Oates is going to be the one running this corner route. And if he is in one-on-one -on -one coverage, he, we are going to exploit him against that nickel corner. He is not, but Ty Abraham, the receiving back on an out route, got plenty of room to run. Beautiful read from Russ Durant. Ty Abraham stiff-arming a guy out of bounds. 
And Durant's close to 200 yards before this first quarter is even over. Oh, I like this press coverage. They have they are pressing Nathan LeCock on this left side as well as Tyron Oaks. Whoever wins their matchup is going to get this football. Oh, Tyron Oaks wins the safeties more toward the middle of the field. And Tyron Oaks, true freshman wide receiver with 94 speed, does the secondary. And just like that, he scores his second touchdown of the day. Our offense right now is cooking. We're not the ones getting cooked finally. We're the ones in the kitchen with a stir fry. And oh my gosh, what a juke. And as I say something, we're the ones getting grounded and pounded. Jabari Kayundo with 54 yards. Clifford already with 60. And combined, that is going to put them over 100 yards rushing on the ground before this first half is over with. So, still got a lot of work to do, especially with our rushing defense. That means we got to recruit linebackers, recruit better D linemen. And oh my gosh, this man was about to cut it all the way to the left side to the house. They're hurrying up yet again, though, with a pistol set. Now, uh, audibling to the shotgun. Audible yet again. It's going to be a screen. It's not a screen. It's going to be a play action over the middle, and we are not there. We brought that safety down, and it's going to be another touchdown for Vasco and this chance to clear offense. Well, our offense has at least been the you know savior of our team. It has been so far in these two seasons. Oh, my gosh, Ty Abraham, if you wouldn't have jump cut so far to the outside, he may have had a lot of room to run. But all I was saying here is our offense has been the main savior for our team the past year and a half. We got to find a way to get somewhere on defense. Ty Abraham almost brusted through those two guys. But third down here, definitely going to find a way to throw the football. I love this slot fade. If Jeremiah Trandon is in the game and can catch this football, he's not going to be the guy we're looking for in the slot. Going to put LeCocq on a little drag route, and it might be there. It's going to be there. Going to hit him over the middle. One juke one time at least get this first down and regain our offense back on the field. All right, let's get Tyron Oaks involved heavy yet again. This time he will have Dallas Lee on the outside blocking for him. They're going to crash down. Nobody's going to block a guy. He just get, makes a guy touch grass out there before getting five. Oh, if this is one-on-one -on -one off coverage, Tyron Oaks on a little motion speed out. Could something that could be very tantalizing. It's going to be there. Tyron Oaks just catching the football. And Russ Durant, I don't think, has incompleted a pass so far. And that is saying something. 100% through about a quarter and a half. Going to rely on offensive line and Ty Abraham to pick up this first down. Going to cut that back inside. Power forward for the first right at midfield. And right, they're bringing a safety down from that left side. Going to be a blitz from that side. Let's hope Nathan LeCock on a play action can spring free here. He will. Drops the football on a diving catch. So will be Russ Durant's first incomplete pass of the day. All right, let's hope. Let's do more press coverage. Like you can't press them out there, man. You just cannot press our receivers outside. Because if you do so, they're going to get burned. Nathan LeCock completely boat raced at that corner. I don't know who you are. He didn't even press the guy. LeCock took an outside release, untouched on his way to the end zone. Coastal Carolina been really hot so far, scoring the ball against our defense, especially with a ground game. Trannon finally brings him down. I, oh, they don't go hurry up. I'm quite surprised by that. It is full house set up yet again. If they throw out of this, then we are pretty much screwed. They are, they are going to throw the football. Let's get a sack that away. Jeremiah Trennan and Jalen Stokes bring the quarterback down. All right, it's third and 11. You cannot let them get a first down here. They have converted on third and 12, not on third and 11. We're going to be here with Alex Peterson. We're not fast enough, but it doesn't matter. That is Jordan Underwood getting the sack, getting us the football back too. And maybe we can spark something here with Nathan Lecock on a punt return. Actually, it's Ty Abraham. On a punt return. West going to punt this ball away. Does Ty have some blocks? He does. Let's see what he can do with it. Going to catch the ball. Great blocking to the outside. I said we can spring Ty Abraham free. Going to break a tackle. Great return up to the 26-yard line. Dang near putting our team already in the red zone. And you can best believe he's going to get the football here. Right after a punt return. Let's hope he doesn't fumble the football. Get some great blocks in the offensive line. And he's only going to get one. Let's run this. We're going to run a jet touch pass fake here. With Nathan LeCock with some posts on the right side. Oh, deep. Oh, that's going to be picked. It's not picked. Thank the Lord or what? I didn't see that safety. He blended in with our own end zone. That's got to say something. When your end zone's like that, you know, it's pretty much close to Carolina colors and vibes. You know what I'm saying? But here we go. Getting in motion for Tyron Oaks on an actual jet touch pass. Almost gets caught up by his own blockers, but he's still going to pick up the first down. Yeah, I didn't even realize I was third and nine whenever we called a jet touch pass. Typically on third downs, that is not a play that you would love to do. Nathan LeCock back in the end zone, going to be thrown away. Maybe a screen here to Dallas Lee will work. We do have Jeremiah Trandon in the game. 
Gonna motion him over. Let's see if we can get enough time to set this up. And we don't. All right, third down and 10 right now. Do have Oaks running this corner route. Gonna be Oaks to Lecoq to maybe Abraham in the flat. If it's there, Abraham is there. Come on, catch the football. Get up the field out of bounds at the one yard line. Russ Durant throwing it to him before he could even get shot on a sack. And we're just gonna hand this, oh, RPO orbit bubble. Let's see if Jeremiah Trannon can actually catch this football. He's had had a bunch of drop issues whenever he's put in on offense. So let's see what we can do. Going to throw it to him in the flat. Catches the football. Two-way star into the end zone, extending our lead. Are we becoming the one who knocks? The people are asking. It's going to be a pistol set. Trips to the right side for Coastal Carolina. And they're going to dump it off to the flat. Terrell Pace can't get them enough time. Look, if they're wanting to dump it down the field, that's fine with me. They got to find a way to go 70 yards, and you can't do that by dinking and dunking your way down the field. I don't remember running man coverage, but we'll run it. It's fine with me. Running back's going to be, oh, what a slant. Drayshawn Rucker gets burned and up to the 50-yard line. Coach of Carolina burning a timeout. Can't expect to play winning defense when you're giving up chunk plays over and over again. Sure, that'd be on me. Alex Peterson is not fast enough. Where's our other oh, hook curl zone? Not there. My gosh, this guy's letting people pile up on top of them. And now they're up to the 33. Well, I didn't want to run some double mug, but we're going to have to in order to hope to get somebody down. Get a sack? No, can't get a sack. We can at least bring down the tight end. Jalen Stokes is there again. We're going to stay in this look. It gave them some fits, some pressures last time. Going to bring Ty Dawson down. Oh, I didn't get enough play to adjust, and that's going to be a touchdown. I didn't get enough time. No touchdown. Down at the one yard on. I'm actually going to burn a timeout here. Look, no way this is not a, it might not be a run, but I'm willing to bet it is a run. Will in the bet. This is it is a direct snap. Handoff. Alex Peterson's there. They're not gonna burn a timeout, surprisingly enough. All right, they're coming out in goal line. This has got to be a run. Somebody get there. Jeremiah Trannon is there this time. Scored a touchdown on an offense and getting a TFL on the one. Oh, now he's got very risk of injury. That is fantastic. Look, I am still blitz in the house. You cannot tell me this is not a run. It's a proven otherwise. Thrown it. End zone, Trannon almost got a pick. It is fourth and goal, and they are going to go for a field goal. Let's see if they stick with it. Going to be from the three. They already missed one field goal on the day. It was from the right hash from about this distance, but this time it's up and through. Going to cut the lead down, but they wanted seven right there. And now an 18-point lead for your Shadow Panthers. They're going to kick it to Nathan Lecoq. It'd be great if he can get a kick return touchdown. It'd be great if he could. All he ran into is tight end Torrance Torrance. And that's only going to be at the 28. Driving back to throw. Durant going to scramble himself. Cut the outside. Going to be brought down. We're going to let this clock dry all the way down. Maybe not to 0, zero seconds per se. But we will at least give Durant a shot to chuck this ball deep. Durant getting interior pressure. Going to roll out. He's got 98 speed. If there's somebody that can do it, we're going to slide down. Actually, and burn a timeout. Play it safe. Trying to get one play to the end zone. Jeremiah Trannon. He is 6'5". Got to go up and get it, Trannon. He almost came down with it, but still going to go into halftime up by 18 against Coastal Carolina. They do get the ball back here in the third quarter, but if we can continuously playing bend but don't break defense, I like our odds in this one. Okay, so I might have lied. I thought that they got the ball, but it turns out we get the ball to start this second half. So we are going to make a little bit of adjustments because they're pressing Nathan Lecoq. Dallas is going to come in motion. Let's see if we can hit him for a touchdown. We will. Durant, as long as it's an accurate ball, Nathan, not going to be for a touchdown, but up across midfield to the 44. One of these days, they're going to realize that pressing our star receivers with 94 speed is going to be a bad idea. So let's see if they're going to make changes here. Oh, Tyron Oaks, great blocking out there on the outside. Oaks going to spin forward, almost spun out of three separate defenders. And now we're going to hand this ball off to Ty Abraham. Let's see if he can get great blocking. He does on the power, almost sprung free. But six yards is pretty good. We're going to go back here to two o'clock. Because if we go down here and score, then this is going to be a blowout in the making. Abraham going to get it yet again on another power. I love our guard's ability to spring forward. Don't spin that white tie. Oh, my gosh. Gets haymaker right there. Can't spin to the inside whenever he's going to the outside. But I do like our jet touch pass here. This is going to be Jeremiah Trannon running this one. I guess Nathan Clark did get a little tired. Trannon going to get this. Let's see how what he can make work. Nobody gets good blocking. He's going to fight forward down at the seven. One yard to go. And we're going to go for this. All right, fourth and one. I like our chances here. We're actually just going to run this football. Give me Ty Abraham. Oh, he can't run crossbuck because I already ran it previously. 
So we're going to get Dallas Lee on a little swing, get some blocking, Dallas Lee, get to the outside, and that's another touchdown pass for Russ Durant. This time going to Dallas Lee, I believe that's Durant's fifth touchdown pass of the day. All right, Coastal Carolina, are they going to actually throw the football now that they're down by 25? And they will. We got a man stuck on a guy. Train is going to come over. Don't make the tackle, though. That is going to be Ty Dawson. We switched his number to number eight. That's why it took me a minute to figure out what his number was. But, man, on that one, you just got to, you know, top your cap to him because they made a great play while we didn't. Trannon's going to miss a tackle, but Ty Dawson obviously comes in after a gain of nine. Look, if they're going to run the football, more power to him. I will let them run the football, try to ground this clock out all the way. Down by 25 here late in the third. Going to be not a jet. It is a jet sweep, and we read it all the way with Trannon as well as Anthony Murphy. Guy okay, will run commit here. They have been, you know, establishing the run, especially in a third and short situation. We're going to be here with Jalen Stokes. Read that play all the way there, and he sacks him for a loss of eight, and they're going to punt the football right back. Maybe Ty Abraham gets a great return here. Going to field it just short of the 15. See what he can make work. Going to cut to the outside. He's going to man the beat. He only has 89 speed, though, so he's not going to be able to make it too far, but he does make it to the 40-yard line. We only have 68 rushing yards. If we want to be a dominant establishing team, we really got to ground and pound here, and as I say that, we're going to lose, too. Oh, quarterback draw, try to use Russ Durant's legs. This is something I can get behind. As long as we block our front five here, get a block, get another block, get another block. Russ Durant, he, oh my gosh, I was hoping he would jailbreak free. All right, Ty Abraham's back in the game now. Going to get it on an inside zone, cutting back, but not good enough. I do like a speed option if we can block this scheme up correctly. Use Durant's speed to widen out that defensive end. He's going to pitch it to Abraham a little bit behind, but that's okay. He's going to carry it with one hand, like Michael Vick style. And keep drowning out this clock. Keep pounding the football. This defense is going to get tired eventually. Come on, get the block to the outside. Going to spin forward, but not before two. Yeah, eventually, this defense is going to get tired. We're going to run a play action with a wheel to Mason Williams, and it's going to be a false start on our left guard. It's going to be Nate Foreman getting the false start. He is a senior. Last year, he gave up a crap ton of sacks. But we're going to come back to the same play, not press coverage on the outside, sadly enough, but maybe Mason Williams can break free on a wheel. Going to float it up to him. Secure catch on the sideline. Beautiful throw from Russ Durant. Oh, my gosh. Couldn't have been better ball placement with a defensive end or a corner or linebacker, whoever it was, bearing down on his face. Let's see if we can get Dallas Lee his second touchdown of the day. Had one on the very last drive on the little swing route. And offensive line is going to block it up, but he's going to be short. With that being said, we're heading into the fourth quarter, 42-17. to 17. I'm hopeful that with a big blowout win, maybe we can crack the top 25. I mean, I don't see why we shouldn't. We have very well dominated teams, especially with our offensive prowess this season. Let's get Ty Abraham a score here. Down at the one, second and goal. Going to hand the ball off. Ty Abraham getting into the end zone, just barely touchdown, putting this lead in this game very well out of hand for Coastal Carolina. All right, Vasco trying to make some sort of momentum after this one. They have played well in the first half. Just the second half, they weren't able to get anything really going so far. Their tight end going to shut off a tackle, but Alex Peterson's there yet again. He has been pretty much everywhere this game. And everywhere, every game. Every time you see a tackle being made, it's pretty much Alex Peterson, the one there. They're going to try to throw the ball here. Oh, what a beautiful little stop route. Looked like a little motion Z spot. Man came down, stopped on a dime. That's Malik Leverett out of Georgia. But we're going to run some cover four here. Try to find a way to funnel this inside and get an interception. That'd be fantastic if we get another pick. They're going to go to a flat route, and we're going to push them out of bounds. Let's see what we can do here. Going to run some cover two. Probably not smart to run cover two. We had that manned up. It just didn't work. Alex Peterson got dusted by the slot corner. So we will see what we can do here. We're going to blitz literally everybody. It's probably not going to be a smart thing to do, but we're going to try it. Oh, we got burned over the middle. Dakota, Dakota Mills, excuse me. I don't know why I was thinking Dakota Kai. That is a WWE, D or not Diva, women's superstar. But, man, we're just getting toasted through the air. Like I said, Coastal Carolina should have stuck with the air. It's been working for him. And over in the flat, it's going to be Coleman. But, man, I'm going to try to bait him here. I'm going to put pace on a little spy, but put him down. We're going to have to man up the tight end over the middle. Get a sack. No way he gets that ball off. 
What a play right there. That is the running back too with a last name I simply can't pronounce. Surprisingly enough, they will not try to onside it. So we're going to be in a four minute drill type offense if Nathan Lecoq doesn't take this all the way to the end zone. What a four minute offense basically means, we're going to run the ball over and over and over again, try to get first downs and bleed this clock out. Unless Ty Abraham decides to take this to the crib, which would be kind of cool. That would put him well over 100 yards on the day. He's got great block in the start. And no, he doesn't. Terrence Torrance didn't hold his man long enough. That's fine. We can still ground and pound it this way with Tyron Oaks open in the flat. He is going to be open in the flat. Hit him. Hit him in stride. Go up the field. One time for the one time. And it's going to be about third and six. Yeah, third and seven coming up. Going to have to throw this football, sadly enough. I really don't want to throw the ball on a third and seven. But when you can't get good blocking on either A, your inside zones, you're going to have to throw. So we're going to motion to Abraham in the flat. Looking to find Torrance or Williams, both tight ends here, based on what shakes out. Actually, we're going to run with Russ Durant. I saw X wide open, but I'm not going to uh, force that in there. Slide down, not trying to phone the football, and that puts us up at the 46. Now with CJ Peaks, now another freshman coming in motion. Actually, what we're going to do here, we're going to do mass subs since it's finally open for us to use and get our guys, our backups, in and get them some reps. Yeah, mass sub backups. It's finally in the game. Give me that. All right, Henry Jarvis, a name you haven't really seen in a while since the first game against Alabama where we were getting dominated. Going to hand this ball off to Tanner Malam. See if he can get going nowhere. He cannot. Now it's going to bring up third and 10. Well, third and 10. Now going to run some play action here with Jarvis. Maybe trying to find CJ Peaks here on a wheel. We're going to try to launch it up to him. CJ Peaks on a wheel route. Ball is overthrown. All right, let's see what they're going to do. Let's see if they cook up our second string defense. They probably will cook up our second string defense. And there's a man wide open, of course, end zone coverage. Huge play up to the 45. With 2.50 to go, Costa Carolina looking to at least put up 30 here in garbage time. They're going to look to try to do so. Try to get a strip fumble. No, but Leverett, 10 catches, 119 yards on the day. Here we go. Second and four, empty set looking here. Trying to lock it on Coleman. Over the middle, nope, nobody is there. It's going to be Leverett yet again with his 11th catch of the day. Already well over 130 yards. All right, first down and 10 now. They're going to look to throw it to the flat. We're going to be here with Adrian Ray. No, we're not. I lied. Oh, my gosh, what a terrible pursuit angle. Trannon is there, though. Going to bring us up to the two-minute warning with Coastal Carolina threatening. Well, it may not lead us to the two-minute warning. They may snap this one before the two-minute warning. They are going to snap this one before the two-minute warning. They're going to throw it, and I can't get there in time. Luckily enough, it's incomplete. All right, well, empty set yet again, this time with five wide receivers. Going to throw it over the middle, and Terrell Pace gets absolutely toasted. If there's one thing we got to recruit, it's going to be some defensive backs. All right, so still going to hand this ball off to Tanner Merlam, try to get out of this game before Coastal Carolina puts up 40 on our heads. They're not going to burst the timeouts, so just one first down, and this game will inevitably be over. We just got to get that first down. Now Dallas Lee back in the ball game. Still have our backups in. I mean, why not try to get, let them get some run at it? I mean, third and four. Wants it to throw the football. I'm not going to throw the football. Going to ground this all the way down to about 35 seconds. That way we can snap the ball. Oh, we won't be at 35 seconds right about now. Snap the ball. Cut this back, Dallas. Up the field. 40 seconds, and that will indeed be the ball game. 49-31, getting our revenge after Coastal Carolina put up 80 points on our head a year ago. Feels good to stay undefeated in conference play. I'll tell you that right now. Feels dang good to be undefeated in conference play. Yep, Russ Durant, 430 yards, five touchdowns. If that is not a national player of the week, I'm not really sure what will be. And we just went over Russ Durant's numbers again, 17 of 22, 430 with five touchdowns, 19 and a half yards per attempt with a long of 90 on the jet touch pass to Russ Durant and on the ground did okay. I mean, Ty Abraham didn't average four yards a carry, had 53 and a touch. Russ Durant was 63 yards despite the fact getting sacked numerous times, but through the air is where we had our really our main stake. Tyron Oaks, 7 for 132 and 2. Nathan LeCocq, Nathan LeCocq can't really speak over here. 4 for 187 and 2. And then Dallas Lee had the lone touchdown out of the running backs through the air. Now, if you shift over to defensively, my goodness, Jalen Stokes with 16 tackles. Alex Peterson with 10. Trainer right behind them with 9 and 3 TFLs. Peterson with 4. Stokes with 2. And then Stokes, Underwood, both had a sack each with Stokes having a pick. My gosh, 16 tackles, 2 TFLs, 1 sack and a pick. That could be National Defensive Player of the Week, too. Attaway, Jalen Stokes, of course, Defensive Player of the Week. 
I don't know why it said he only had seven tackles when it said he had 16, technically. That's fine. Jalen Stokes, also National Defensive Player of the Week. Not surprised by that one at all. Do we get any Offensive Player of the Weeks? There is Restaurant, 430 and 5, Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Week. Does he get National? He does not, but we do crack the top 25. Coming in at number 24 in the nation, the first time in program history before we play James Madison. Well, quick a quick little temperature check on Patu. Notre Dame's coming all the way back. I'm not really sure if we can get him. Because look, there's nothing that we can hard sell him on. If I go back to recruiting, nothing I can hard sell him on. Because he likes Coach Prestige, which is a D. Conference Prestige, which is a D. And then Proximity to Home, which is a B plus. Sure, you could say I can fight for it. But at this point in time, that'd be wasting our hours. We do have another four-star guard all the way down here. Jason and Christopher, who's got no interest from any team. So I feel like it'd be more beneficial to come down here, give him about 25 points, and then offer scholarships on these other four stars that haven't been really looked after by any other team. So again, as we keep going down, offering these guys scholarships that haven't been recruited. Josh Virgin, he's losing it for me, as well as Steve Pratia. What about Kevin Westbrook? He's also going after by Notre Dame. So great, that's good for us. So we'll just give these 10 points to close out to Quincy Bowankwo. Right now, it's actually projecting us to be top four for the playoffs. If we keep this up and indeed win our conference, we would actually have a first round bye. We are so close to getting our first five star in program history right, with Mo Hall free safety. I already came on a visit. We just need a little bit more to hold off Tennessee. I think he does commit if we beat James Madison on the road. Nate, I don't even know how to pronounce that last name, to be quite honest. Florida State's really coming back on him. The only thing that sucks is that we don't really have anything that we can hard sell him on. Like our proximity to home is a B. Championship contender is a B plus. I mean, maybe you could if there is one for championship contender and proximity to home, but I don't think there is. So if we go through here, I'm not seeing one with championship contender and proximity to home. I mean, athletic facilities, we'll do that. We'll hard sell them because I think we get above that 14 point like line or something like that. So we'll do that and then we'll just give him a DM. Hopefully that helps us at least extend away from them. Big lead on Malcolm Robbins. Hopefully he commits to soon. Florida State coming back on Fabroni. Big lead here on John Rowan. Sydney Gillette. Alabama is trying to come back for his services. Really need to be sure we lock him down. Do we have anything we can hard sell him on? We might. Actually, yeah, we do. Take off this in the house. I know which exact one we can hard. We don't. We can't yet. So never mind on that one. But as you see here, really confident where we're standing at so far with our class, especially if we get this five star. James Madison, this honestly might be one of the worst teams we've faced so far this season. Only one guy above an 80 overall, Marcellus Nash, and then another defensive end at a 79. But after that, there is a lot of talent gap on this team. The quarterback's going to be Billy Atkins, and the running back is Chris Russell. They don't bring anybody back that they gashed us with a year ago. So we shouldn't overlook them, but just by eyeballing it right now, I think we'll be okay. Well, as a surprise to nobody, we are indeed getting the ball first. Common theme in all the games we've played so far, Nathan Lecoq going to field the ball over there in the shade. Maybe, oh, I thought he had a chance for a kickoff return, but great field position at the 28. You can see the cold breath coming off these players, so you know it's a little colder environment. Going to try to establish the ground game. Hasn't been something that's been so consistent, though, thus far. But let's see if we can make something work. Just going to start off with a simple inside zone here to Dallas Lee. Oh, they messed up my depth charts again. I'll have to go fix that because I want Ty Abraham in the game. But maybe Dallas Lee can get somewhere, and he does not. All right, back to adjusting our depth chart. Have Jeremiah training in the slot. Let's see if he can actually catch a ball. He's had trouble catching it this season. He doesn't catch that one. Breaks the tackle. Going to be a third and short situation. Well, we can really do anything here. We can run. We can go for a shot. Not really a shot play, per se. But what we're actually going to do, go out to the flat here. Tanner Malone. Oh, Tanner Tyburn's back in, finally. Going to find Dallas Lee on this right side. It looks like it's going to be there if we can get some blocking on the outside. We don't get any blocking from Nathan Lecoq. And we're going to have to punt this football. Three and out in the first drive is not good at all. My first time playing this game in almost like a couple weeks, actually. So I'm a little nervous to see how I'm going to perform on defense. Going to be a play, not play action, RPO read. And we're going to be there. Looks like Jordan Underwood is the one that's stopping that one for no gain. They are going to run a hurry up type setup here. See what they're going to come out and do. A little adjustments here from Billy Atkins, the star quarterback. Only 75 overall, but going to try to make adjustments against us. And we get a sack. Devin Skates, first sack of the season for him. I believe he is our backup 
uh, defensive tackle. So true freshman coming in with a huge play. Going to bring up third and 16 now. Let's see if James Madison either goes conservative. They are going to throw the football and another sack. John Decker, the fourth. Bringing the man down fourth and 24. Forcing another three and out. And we'll try to score the next time we have the football. All right, Watford looks to punt it all the way to Ty Abraham. He does have one punt return on the season. Let's see if he can make another one to the left side. He's got room to run. Spinning backs up to the 36. What a great start for our offense on his second possession of the game. Let's get Tyron Oaks involved. Once again, attacking teams on the outside. Abraham is a little tired, but he's going to run the RPO here. We're going to throw it to Oaks in the flat. Great blocking that time by Lecoq. Going to spin backwards up the field for a gain of 11. And that's what we can do with our increased speed, especially on, on offense. Oaks with 94 speed. Lecoq on the left side with 94 speed. That being said, it's going to find Torrance Torrance underneath. And we're going to pick up seven. All right, Ty Abraham going to get this ball in second and three. It's going to be a little power O type deal. Spinning forward, barely enough to convert. I mean, that's all you can really ask for here. Not really much up front, but... You got to give it to him. I'm having my fantasy notifications going off. Lamar Jackson just threw a touchdown pass. But Nathan LeCock going to come in motion for this jet sweep. We look to take this all the way to the end zone. If we get great blocking, cut that up. Not great blocking on the outside. And James Madison's defensive end, Kendrick Dodge, goes down with an injury. We're at the four-yard line here. Just going to try to pound this in with Ty Abraham. Going to run an inside zone. ID in the right backer. Can an offensive line block? We can for the first down, but not for the touchdown. Try something unique here with Jeremiah Trannon. Have him coming in motion, do a RPO little orbit. Can he hold on to this football? And can we get blocking? Oh, there's a flag on the field, probably either pass interference or downfield. It's going to be a holding on our tight end, Mason Williams. Going to bring us back 10, erasing a touchdown, which kind of blows, quite honestly. But I like this little motion slot corner with the Tyron Oaks or the slot fade to Nathan Lecoq if he's going to press him on that side. So what we got? Don't really have anything. Mason Williams open. Oh my gosh, what a freaking dime. Russ Durant accurately finding Mason Williams, threading a needle right there. I thought that was intercepted for sure. But the true freshman... Throwing his pristine accuracy right there. Well, James Madison now looking to respond. Let's see what they're going to come out with. Running a 3-3-5 on defense. Going to be a handoff up the gut, and we are there. That's Cade Bloom, one of our other defensive tackles, getting his name stamped on the game so far. Second and nine now, only a gain of one. You got to think they got to throw the ball over the middle. You know, we don't really have that fast linebackers. On the outside, oh my gosh, that should have been a pick. That should have been Ty Dawson just missed that one. He's been really aggressive on pick sixes for sure, but cost them there. I'm going to run some more press coverage on their receivers. I don't really respect the receivers. It's going to be handoff off the gut. I took the flat route and another only pickup of one. Still hurry up offense, though. I mean, another handoff, and we send a blitz right there in time. Jeremiah Tran is the one tackling him for a loss of two, as well as Jalen Stokes. So, you know, on third and forever that they are going to pass the ball. I don't want to run cover two. Cover two always burns me. Run some cover three cloud here. Be on Alex Peterson over the middle. Going to be on this tight end. It's a screen. Not expecting it. Beautiful play call. And Jalen Stokes tackles him just a yard shy. They do decide to punt. Let's see if it's going to be a fake or not. I don't think it would be, but you truthfully never know. They are going to punt it. I would have went for it there. Only one yard. At that point, you basically have to go for it. Ty Abraham coming back and forth, trying to find someone to run. But does get a decent pickup. I like this as a shot play. If Mason Williams can get behind his linebacker if it's man coverage. Oh, it's no play action. Oh my gosh, intense pressure. Great block though from Williams on the guy. Russ Durant took a major shot. The left side edge came flying right there. Took a hit before getting it off. We're just going to run straight inside zone here. I trust Dallas Lee to pick up a yard and our offensive line. Not even a yard. It's a basic inch here. And we can't get it. Oh my gosh, our right guard, I believe that's Xavier Correll, couldn't even hold up enough. And we're going to have to punt the football away. It was inches, man. How do you not gain an inch? Blitzing yet again. That's what we do. We're like a Brian Flores type offense. We send heat over and over and over again. We're going to have to force you to defeat our blitz. If you can beat the blitz, then fine. 
but so far James Madison has not proven to do so they are going to be going to pass the ball it's empty set we're throwing a screen oh my gosh I thought I had an interception all right well now it is third and 14 watch out for another screen here last time they almost converted with a screen on third and oh my gosh that's my guy I was on Alex Peterson I came down too much and Josh Pfeiffer in the seam just goes over the top and they convert right past midfield right close to midfield it looks like they were past it for a second so that means it is what it is you gotta stop everything you can get there oh Jalen Stokes just makes the guy bounce off of them but luckily we still tackle him well now it's second and four James Madison looked like they are driving here I went outside of my gap and that's an easy first down probably oh they're gonna run hurry up it might close out the first quarter we'll see I'm pretty yeah this is that will close out the first quarter gonna be up seven but James Madison right now in our territory driving down they have a great opportunity to tie this ball game up yeah once again still sending all the heat that we can I got oh I almost got caught there but luckily enough we still get a sack looks like Alex Peterson's there yet again I'm telling you that man has been everywhere for us especially on defense I mean he is the leader of our team missed him a year ago again torn rotator cuff right started him back for his fifth season and where he's oh my gosh everybody is there on that one that play went absolutely nowhere Kobe Wood on the tackle does have an increased chance of injury for some reason I guess he got rolled up on or something this time we're not going to make a mistake and bring our linebacker down to get seamed over the top we're gonna be on this seam we're gonna be over here we are everywhere get a sack he throws the football away no grounding surprisingly enough but we'll at least force a punt all right punt is going to be up and away Ty Abraham looks like he's gonna have room to run on that right side if we can get some blocking juke one time spin back and nowhere I like this look a lot for a counter we're gonna motion Tyron Oaks over just a little bit then run the play can we get somewhere no break a tackle nope gonna lose a yard again our offensive line hasn't been able to make any holes for our running backs it doesn't matter who's in the backfield it doesn't really matter when you can't get a yard or two past the line of scrimmage but we are going to motion Ty Abraham over he is a little bit tired probably gonna find Mason Williams underneath there's a blitz almost intercepted all right looks like they're gonna send a bunch of pressure here we might have a one-on-one -on -one chance with Tyron Oaks we're gonna have a deep shot oh most caught man I thought trainer would have had a chance maybe we could have hit Tyron Oaks but that safety went over to that right side to cover it so once again we're gonna have to punt it away you know this is probably the most punts you've seen in an episode three punts already Matt Thomas being busy on the day and James Madison is going to bring it up to the 40 yard line again great field position they're going to try to capitalize if they want to tie the game right, first and 10 now for the Dukes they're going to hand the ball right up the gut and Jordan Underwood is there stifling him down for a loss of three but let's see what they're going to try to do this time around obviously you got to might you know consider throwing the football they are going to throw it on an RPO where you don't have anybody there but our secondary does rally to the football going to bring up third and nine empty set looking like here gonna obviously pass commit because you know it's gonna be a passing situation but well, they got my zones all sorts of messed up let's see what we got here over the top over the middle tackle this man shorts and we will that is Ty Dawson and Alex Peterson short of the chains and another punt this is just a punt fest back and forth curious to see if they will punt it to Ty Abraham or not Watford's gonna be up and no what a terrible kick all right well we try to get Tyron Oaks to football last time on a corner route. It was covered. We're going to try to get him the ball here on a swing route. They're going to toss it to him. Oh, we got great blocks. Tyron Oaks has some speed. He's going to juke one time. He's going to try to stiff arm, but making his way all the way up to the 33 yard line. And that's why I love this formation so much. And what we're actually going to do, we're not going to do a halfback wheel. Well, we will do a play action wheel. I don't want to do a halfback wheel, but you're going to bring him in motion. Maybe we can hit Dallas Lee on this left sideline maybe oh god we're gonna get sacked uh well dang maybe try to get too cute on that last play but hey this time short not short easy and simple just basic power oh my gosh he gets freaking triple eight spine bustered damn my gosh I mean now Abraham has five carries for basically no yards I mean every time he's gotten the football it's been alignment in his face so you really can't do much about that when things like that happen the play has been breaking down a lot for our offense. Oh, and restaurant sees man coverage again. 98 speed. Hold on to the football up to the 20 yard line. And that is why we recruited him 
and why he is our generational quarterback. You don't see anybody in the league or in college with 98 speed back there. So, oh, jump ball. Jeremiah trying to come back to it, and he did not. I was hoping that Trana could come back and catch that one. We're going to try to find Dallas Lee in the flat. This hadn't worked before, previously, but maybe it can this time. Great blocking the outside. Lee going to juke forward, push forward, and he's going to be inches shy. Last time we had this inches situation, we did not convert. So it's going to be very important for our offensive line to get pushed on this power. I mean, I don't want to kick a field goal, but I mean, I will to go up two possessions. Going to be up to Ty Abraham and this offensive line. Cut up the field, tie that away. Just get enough for the first down. Yep, you know this formation yet again. Nathan Lilcock going to come in motion. Going to try to out leverage him, use his speed to get to the outside. Oh my gosh, he just freaking crashed down on the edge. Mesa Williams not able to bring him down. So it's going to be the two-minute warning or two-minute timeout now, I guess, as they say in broadcast. I hate that it's called the two-minute timeout. Like, it's literally just a warning. It's not just, it's not a timeout. I mean, I guess technically it is a timeout, but in theory, it's not. Oh, my gosh, getting blitzed. Hold on to the football, and we do not. Third and goal from the eight. I don't really like throwing the ball in these type situations because... The windows are narrow. Mason Williams, though, intercepted. The safety read it all the way, came across the field to make that play. And, well, another interception in the red zone going to thwart us from possibly going up two possessions. Got to get our lick back on defense. Maybe one of our guys can create a turnover. He's going to throw it up deep. Oh, my gosh, Dakota Mills got burned, but a diving stretch. My hands out wasn't able to get down. And that is something we can't have. Dakota Mills got torched right there. Luckily enough, it was overthrown just by a hair. Second and 10 now for the Dukes. Atkins making adjustments at the line of scrimmage over the middle. Man's wide open. That's the same man he missed on the last play. And that's going to bring him up close to midfield. And yeah, there you go. You automatically see the hurry up coming into effect. Let's see if they're going to try to throw the ball again. Uh, we are still going to be blitzing. I blitz pretty much all night. A good 70% of my players are always going to be blitzes. And that is exactly why we bring the quarterback down for a huge loss it was a bunch of defenders in our area looked like it was either Decker or Peterson on that sack and a loss of seven second and 17 no screens here just straight slants over the middle great play call and we do cut him down by Jalen Stokes but that is a gain of 15 right there can't have that can't have big gains of 15 on second and long now they're in a third and short situation well, they can either run or throw the ball. They will throw. Can we get a sack? We do. We're going to burn a timeout here as well. That is our fifth sack of the first half. First and 10, we have a little two-minute drill here. Can I try to get a touchdown before the minute, of course, is out? Can we first down here for Rush Durant? Let's see what we can do here. Got a man over the middle. That's interception. That's the same guy that got a pick before. I didn't even see him. And that is just a terrible blind read by me. And now... We are in a tough position. KJ floats again. Second pick of the day. It's going to bring James Madison up at the 26 yard line. Let's see what we were able to do here. Intercepted by me, Ty Dawson. We told, we told you that he's aggressive. He's our man for interceptions. And he comes up with a huge play right there to allow us to get a chance. Now we're going to let Russ Durant cook empty set right here. Looking to the slot fade to Nathan Lecoq on that side. Nothing's there, nothing's there, and we're going to get sacked for a loss of 10. Our offense so far has been struggling today. There's not much you can really say about it besides that, and we are indeed struggling, but we're going to try to find something to work here. Going to scramble out to the right side, nothing there, and just going to have to throw the football away. Oh my gosh, they are blitzing the house here. Blitzing the house, not something you really want to see. We're going to throw a slant over the middle and knocked away. We're going to have to punt the football, and our offense is stuck in the mud right now. Put them in park. Put them in whatever you want to call it. We just can't get nothing going. Let's see what our defense is made out of. First and 10 for James Madison at the 39-yard line. We're going to be here. We're not going to be there. Get a hit stick. Drayshon, uh, Drayshon Rucker. Oh, my gosh. That guy's spinning off multiple tackles. All right. Well, I mean, if we can't get pressure or, you know, our secondary can't really cover for so long, we're just going to have to keep blitzing the quarterback. What's what we're going to do? We're not there with Dawson. This man is speeding to the races, and he's going to get to the end zone. The blitz came back to bite us. Atkins with a beautiful throw over the middle, and he just took that all the way. He was a little quick, too, but it's going to be 7-7. Seven, Maybe we can make something shake with 20 seconds, but I doubt it. First and 10, only 17 seconds here, so we got to go. We got to go quick. Russ Durant going to scramble up himself. Up the field. 
up to the 11 yard line clock's gonna stop at least for a first down for a little bit but it's gonna be right back on the line of scrimmage come on we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go eight seconds take him down take him down gonna give a shot here the tran in the big freshman receiver not able to come down with it and that's gonna be the half low scoring affair here seven to seven probably the least amount of points i've scored in a half in both seasons thus far second half is beginning we are kicking it off to james madison they were of course deferring it to the second half which is starting now knight in the back of the end zone gonna take a knee and they're gonna look to try to upset us really we are on a six game win streak right now but we cannot let them come in and beat us i was saying look don't underestimate them but they weren't that good and right now <laughs> they are taking it to us ty dawson missing that tackle right there but luckily alex peterson is there to secure it only limiting that game to one and they're going to come out here in the same gun tight formation. We're going to bring Dawson down, try to send a blitz here to get another sack or force an error throw. We're not in the flat, but that doesn't matter. We get another sack that looks like Tran in there, and it is third and 18 now for the Dukes. All right, once again, cannot allow anything behind our heads. Watching for screens, watching for seams. We're here for the seam. Somebody get a sack. Oh my gosh, the running back. Tackle him. Thank you, Pace. And that looks to be Dawson as well. They're going to punt the football right back to us. And let's see if Ty Abraham can get something going. Again, hasn't been able to get anything going on offense. Five carries for no yards. But typically on days like that, he has a punt return. So let's see. Can we get something going? Great cut to the outside. It's going to spin one time. Good spin move up to the 47. Nothing really happening right now, especially on offense. Maybe we can find Oaks here on this left side, depending on what the play is. We're going to step up with Russ Durant, though. He's going to slide down before getting hit. Don't want to risk him getting injured because we don't have a real... You know solidified guy behind him and we have we have bernard kimball who's a red shirt freshman 71 overall but still sliding down playing it safe let's see if we can get blocks from receivers on the outside so nathan lecock can spring free in a motion throw the bubble get a block there you go tyron nathan lecock to the left side juke into the left as well or right side excuse me juke to the left up at the 21 just shy of the red zone we're gonna run the same play right back another speed option let's see if they take the quarterback or not Gonna push him out wide. They are gonna take the quarterback pitch to Abraham. He's gonna spin forward for uh, maybe some sort of gain. He's gonna pick up three. I was hoping he would, you know, stand up after getting laying on those defensive back or linebackers or whatever. So far, again, not looking too hot so far. We're gonna send Lecoq on a streak. Try to get away and we get a false start. Uh, of course we do. Well, the fact of the matter is, is third and 19 here. I mean, we don't got much that we could work with. Gonna put Trandon on a corner. Let's see if that's gonna work. It might work. Going to float it. It's going to be out of bounds. We're going to have a long field goal attempt here. 46 yards. Durant has a high chance of injury, so I'm hoping that we can find a way to keep him in the game. Long field goal here for the freshman kicker, Tyler Walsh. I got to lock in and try to make it. Up, and it's going to be no good. Just went too far to the left, and that's going to be bad missed opportunity there to take the lead. And James Madison going to get the ball right at the 40-yard line. Not at the 40, they're at the 29-yard line, excuse me. But still, great opportunity for James Madison to drive the length of the field. Oh, my gosh. And I took the wrong hole there. And that's going to go to one-play touchdown. Jordan Underwood is there to stop him. Now that's a huge gain. It's a gain of 51. Man, we cannot allow big plays like that, especially on the ground. We've been better so far today. But still, any big gain like that is simply unacceptable making adjustments at the line of scrimmage sending another blitz maybe we can be there with ty dawson it is a bro oh, it's a run i got completely fooled on that one but luckily it was only getting a one it's empty set now gonna make sure i'm manning up this slot receiver on the left side peterson not gonna be there that's okay only a short pickup and now we're probably gonna run some tampa too i haven't ran cover two all day long so far we're gonna do some hard flats see if they decide to run the football I'll be here with jordan underwood they're not Oh my gosh, over the middle, and that is why I don't run cover two. Because they just simply dime us up over the top. Well, they're coming out full house here. We're basically run committing up the gut. Let's see if we can stop it. It's going to be right up the middle, and we'll easily walk into the end zone. Touchdown, James Madison. And right now, they have a great opportunity to upset us after a six-game win streak. We got to get back in our bag, okay? You got to find somehow, some way... To just lock in, especially on an offense. Somebody's got to make a play. Somebody's got to break free and get open. Typically looking at Nathan Lecoq or Tyron Oaks. Do what we can make shake here. Empty set for Russ Durant. Trying to find Lecoq over the middle. He's going to beat 
overthrown intercepted gonna be a pick six unless restaurant can tackle him he cannot touchdown trent hendrick and james madison that ball was severely overthrown and hendrix takes advantage all right we just gotta get the ground game going establish something can't be one dimension of the whole way through something's gotta give and nothing's gonna give my gosh we are just not playing well at all in any facet of the game somebody's gotta make a play let's see who's gonna do it first over the middle overthrown again russ durant come on man well this is the first time we've seen bernard kimball putting him in for the russ durant you know injured all that wear and tear abraham in the flat he's got 96 throw power okay get something going get a gain of nine and now we're in a position where we got to go for it keep in mind bernard kimball is a red shirt so as long as he doesn't play in four full games this season we will be a-okay man over the middle oh my god that was a laser but Trannon just does not have hands at all so james madison now first and 10 looking to make a play here and he misses the tackle can train make a tackle here no can he has another chance to and it's gonna be 28 to 7. the dukes are running away and stomping us out of our top 25 ranking at this point it would almost be a full miracle if we can come all the way back let's see what we can do kimball has a man open over the middle but our offensive line can't hold if we could block for just a little bit of time any one of our quarterbacks would have people open oh my gosh and that's gonna be a fumble picked up one hand scooped up by the defense and this game is just catastrophic right now play action over the middle that might be another touchdown down at the two yard line james met they have just diced this up all day today here we go no oh, it's a pass what are they gonna do intercepted alex peterson this could be the momentum shifting that we need peterson down the right sideline can he take it all the way to the crib there's only one guy left to bring him down and he's gonna take it a hundred yard pick six or 96 yard pick six excuse me but that is what we needed read him all the way there peterson takes it and stamps some momentum for us we have hope we have some sort of life now just gotta get another stop on defense it's gonna be no screen over there it is a screen tunnel screen over there with jordan underwood let's in yet again here gonna be here with ty dawson over the in the flat oh my gosh we got two guys clipped on one another that's not going to be good. You can't have that, especially in man coverage. Or else plays like that happen. James Madison once again storming down the field. We got to get a stop, especially a turnover. That would be fantastic if we can get that. I don't know if we will or not. Making adjustments again at the line of scrimmage. Let's see what he's going to shake up and do here. It's a pass here over the middle. We're not there enough, though, and it's going to be hit short of the sticks. And they're going to bring hurry up out yet again. So our linebackers gotta stay down here press them down pinch them down stay over the top it's gonna be a run outside can't he can't tackle him and we do bring him down are they gonna hurry up again they will and this is why i gotta blitz like your two backs in the backfield here you have to blitz bringing stokes down to the line of scrimmage let's see what that james menace is gonna do making adjustments making changes throwing to the flat here we're there with jalen stokes baby what a play gonna force a punt and maybe we have some sort of life france back in the game is wear and tears went away so we gotta have our star quarterback get in some sort of rhythm i don't know how or what but somehow some way gotta drive the ball downfield run some hurry up get some plays being made here and especially on the ground we haven't done anything on the ground so far today let's find dallas leading the flat get up the field that away dallas come on juke one time up to about the 40 yard line no more two o'clock we're going to need as much time as possible to have a chance in this game to try to tie it up cut that all the way back nothing's there offensive line has been terrible run blocking wise nothing has been there at all for us to do anything so maybe nathan lecock can be here on his play action deep cross on the right side see what we can have here nope not going to be there and we get dropped for a huge substantial loss no wear and tear thankfully for uh our quarterback russ durant but still this plays cannot happen if you want to have a chance in this ball game to abraham open on the right side nobody's even there is going to get a first down and a whole lot more down to the right side line, up at the 31 yard line i'm loving that little sale play because it makes the defender make a choice in the flat they are pressing our receivers on the left side saves is gonna have to make a choice with lee going on a seam gonna have a choice nothing's there durant's gonna run for himself referees in the way gonna slide down avoid a hit don't want the wear and tear popping up some more and this is the drive that we really needed from our freshman quarterback 
come in, dime up the field, make some huge plays, and get a touchdown. And another sack for my left tackle. Oh my goodness. Durant's taking a beating this game. The rest of right now is it's increased. It's not, you know, high or low. Increase is still pretty bad. But still. Gotta find a way to get open here. Durant gonna run to the right side. Step out of bounds, not get hit, but does convert a first down. Trannon, if you can hold on to this football, you might get into the end zone. Trannon, if you can hold on to the football, terrible blocking on the outside right there. I believe that was Tanner Malam trying to block a screen there. He's a running back slash receiver, scat back type deal. Dallas is going to get this carry though. Up the gut, push forward Dallas, and we're going to be down at the two. All at the two yard line. We have to get to the outside here. It's going to be Nathan Lecoq. Surprise, surprise. It's our fastest wide receiver. Out to the outside, cut that up the field and touchdown. Back to a one possession ball game. We are trying our damnedest to make this a comeback. They want us to go for two. Why would you want me to go for two here? All right, first and 10 for James Madison. We are running some double mug right here. Having all of our guys on the line of scrimmage get a sack. He was going to throw a pick to me and I just felt it. So running more double mug this time. We're going to drop back in the cover trying to fool the quarterback, Billy Atkins. He's going to hand the ball off the gut and we are here with Alex Peterson. This is the defensive stand that we need. Going to come out in some dime. I can't run cover three lock like I want to run some cover three match over the top. Protect the sticks here. Watch out for any screens, especially at the five yard line. And they're going to hand the football up the gut. Can we tackle him and we bring him down? Chris Russell brought down only for a gain of, I believe that was six. But still, we're going to get the ball back, have a chance to come out and tie this ball game. Our offense was humming that last drive. See what Ty Abraham can do if he gets blocking. He does get some sort of blocking. Going to bring his trust past midfield and in great territory. Plays like that is why we haven't been able to win. It's one step forward, two steps backwards. Whenever you have something like that, Durant's going to step up in the pocket. The internal clock is ticking. Going to get up for a gain of six. His injury is high, but we need him to make plays like that. Mainly to the chest area, but that is okay for now. I like Oaks on a corner, and I like putting Mason Williams on a post. Can they hear us? They can, thankfully. See what we got cooking here. Cooking. Catch that possession. Tyron Oaks just in between the safety. It was a cover two look, and we took advantage. Oaks has been the man. We're going to give it to him in the flat. Dallas Lee's going to come in motion. Hopefully give us an extra hat on the outside the block. Can we get some blocks? Lecoq does bring a block. Tokes, Jukes forward. Step on the man and another first down to the four-yard line. All right. Now it's going to be up to offensive line to get some blocking. Ty Abraham getting it on the power. Up the gut, Ty Abraham trucking a little prematurely. Kind of being up second and two, basically. Second and goal from the two, I should say. And this is four down territory. You bet we're going to run it all four downs. Abraham trucking forward and gets in the end zone. This is going to be a tie ball game. It was 28 to seven. Then a pick six and another touchdown. A defensive stand. And we have crawled our way back in this one. All right, it is first and 10 here. Let's see what they're going to do. They are going to hand the... It's going to throw it over the top. Rucker picked that off, man. You picked that off, and we are back in business to take the lead. That would have been a crazy interception, too. I mean, great deflection. Don't get me wrong. But we would want an interception on that type of play. Over the middle. We're going to be here. Everywhere throws the football away. We are stopping them, thankfully. It only took us about, what, three quarters and a half. Now we're going to come out here in some a cover four look. Going to protect the sticks and let's see what Atkins decides to do. It's not going to be a screen. Going to be here over the middle. We're everywhere. We are both on both routes at the same time and he throws it away again. I don't know where the intentional grounding is, but it's not being called. We forced yet another punt. We would want this to be one of the last drives of the game. If we can go all the way down, went on a game winning field goal. That would be ideal. Blocks to the outside up for about four. Oh, two, not even four. That's crazy. Well, anyways, still main goal here. Drive it down the field, kick a field goal, win the game. That is what we want to do. So let me find a good play that can start getting us down the field. I like Ben Swap. Ben Swap isn't a bad play. We're actually going to be at the two minute warning. The goal for this drive, all the way down the field, kick a game winning field goal. Let's see if we're going to be able to do so. Ty Abraham going to be motioned out to the left side. Russ Durant's going to step up in the pocket and we're going to get a holding call. Going to slide down. I swear if it's on our right, no, it's on our tackle. Kalen Franklin, I believe. That can't happen. He's our best overall player. 83 overall left tackle. 
the senior cannot make that mistake that is a freshman level mistake on a drive of this magnitude but second and 18 so we got to try to make up for it here maybe williams to oaks over the middle yep williams to oaks over the middle gets his as he throws time run oaks set to tackle up the field go oaks go 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 up to the 21 yard line puts him at the 100 yard clip for the day now let's run the football chew this clock down gonna rely on our true freshman kicker let's see if he's gonna be able to come through in the clutch dallas lee though to the outside i mean if we can get a touchdown that'd be great too sets us up in great position james venison's gonna burn their first of their three timeouts try not to get too cute here let's just run the ball to the outside pitch it i tried pitching it didn't work luckily russ Duran is still not injured thankfully taking another shot there we don't want him taking too many hits yet his injury risk is high so what we're gonna do gonna hand this ball off to dallas lee make them burn all their timeouts up the gut nobody blocks the mike linebacker for some reason we got one more play to run and then kick a field goal and hope to god we don't let james madison score let's see what we can do here i'm probably gonna hit training here on this side because they're gonna come crashing down in the middle so let's see if this is gonna work we're gonna hand this ball off and we're gonna get tackled for a loss trainer wasn't there they had a linebacker follow him to the left side so what we're gonna do drain it all the way down burn one of our timeouts and let walt shaw kick this field goal right, tyler walsh 32 yard field goal here bring the camera down that way i can actually see it's down right eight miles an hour don't want to overdo it here slow meter it's gonna be up and just through the uprights giving us the go-ahead lead with under 30 seconds to go 31 28 we just gotta make sure we don't let james madison get in the field goal range or of course score a touchdown i gotta make sure we are playing back we are making sure that a we don't let them get over the middle running cover four here we set our hooks and flats to 15 yards and 25 and he's gonna throw the football away nine seconds left looks like it's gonna be a hail mary situation they are not just yet so still cover four if i can find it cover four palms is okay i'm gonna play off coverage for sure beyond alex peterson and just watch for anything deep over the middle it's not hail mary it is hail mary get a sack okay three seconds left we're gonna come out man up 3d here we go this one is the game four seconds left for james madison at the 11 yard line if they find a way to go 89 yards i'm gonna be sick to my stomach so we're gonna throw it deep whenever he gets time and we're gonna get a sack he's not even gonna get the ball off that is dylan canty on that sack and that's gonna do it we survive in james madison it took us a bit to get our offense to click but we came back from 28 to 7 to escape with a victory oh ben lady not dylan lady escape with a victory 31 28 hopefully preserving our spot in the top 25. you see it in that box score 17 point comeback in the fourth quarter alone let's see it through the stats in the air of course billy atkins at 287 two and two but let's focus on our guys restaurant 20 for 34 two and three picks the three picks are kind of brutal kimball came in for a little bit he does have three more games he can play in before his red shirt is burned so we're not really worried about that on the ground nothing was there at all for ty abraham restaurant was scrambling for his life to get anything going and as you can see just overall across the board couldn't really run the football but tyron oaks was our saving grace five for 100 on the dot lecoq had a touchdown and mason williams did off a beautiful throw from restaurant might i add but yeah if we look at all of our sacks we gave up caitlin franklin two grant huffwood one it definitely seemed like they gave up more sacks than what's letting on here and defensively ty dawson and jalen stokes let us in tackles trannon with four tfls peterson went three stokes with three and jordan underwood with three and Ben Laney and Trannon led us in a half with one and a half sacks with Dawson and Peterson having that pick six. Okay, the thing didn't pop up, but we do get Mohal. First five star in program history. That is one thing that we love to see. Comes in with 90 speed, 90 excel, 80 play rec, 85 agility, terrible man coverage, but maybe we don't know his dev trait just yet. That's going to free up 50 hours for me to go use on other players. Like for Iberakite, we are down on him by a lot, but we can bring him in on a visit for week 12 and hope that it'll be enough. As you can see, our pitch results aspirational only went up one. So, I mean, hard sell, only one thing that went up. So, we're going to take that off altogether and just really just send the house form every single time. So, as we go here, send the house form. Soul freezes up with 65 hours. Malcolm Robbins is close to commit to. Still in the lead on Eric Fabroni. Auburn's coming back. 
John Rowan, well-established lead. Sidney Gillette, we are going harder now. Alabama stopped going as hard for him. And Braxton Pierce is close to committing too. So is there any guys we can bring on a visit that's close enough to commit? Let's see. For Brony, it's going to be very important bringing him in on a visit probably for week 12. So this is going to be the guy I think we use our 50 hours for, or 40 hours for this. App State, we're going to focus on proximity to home since he loves that the most. And we still have 25 hours to dish out. Maybe we can do it to Damian Cameron. Or we can go down here and scout some of these guys we haven't done yet. Like, we're in the good spot for Quincy Bacuano. Matt Christopher, surprised we haven't caught him up yet. We'll give it to Bobby Sylvan. Give the last 25 hours to him. And that's going to close out our recruiting before we play Georgia State. Georgia State's definitely an interesting team. We go up to 23 in the nation. But don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, especially since now we're getting five-star prospects. So we're going to be better in the near future. And until then, when we play Georgia State, I'm out. See ya.